Tonight's winner is best described as a childhood prodigy whose star did not fade, rather grew even brighter. He is already at the forefront of his sport, and there are many, many accolades to come. Please join me in taking a look at this fabulous career so far. This man's sporting career reads like a book of world records. At 15, he became the youngest ever world amateur champion. Two years later, he became the youngest ever World Open champion at 17, going on to win a total of six times. He was the first player to win an Open without a single loss. He played the second longest match in squash history and was unbeaten in 555 consecutive matches over five years and eight months. Their impressive stats by any stretch made all the more so given that when he was young, he was deemed by medical professionals to be too weak for sport. He is a story of perseverance and determination, subverting the expectations of everyone to not just become a successful sportsman, but to become an unassailable champion. Simply put, there are few individuals in any sport that have come close to what he's achieved. He's a legend with a squash racket that tonight, among his unending list of accolades, can count the Asian award for outstanding achievement in sport. The Asian Award goes to my own hero, the great Jagir Khan. Nothing I can see but you when you dance, dance, dance. There are only a handful of sportsmen that one can truly call a legend, even among those elites. This man is a conqueror. Once dubbed unbeatable, his accomplishments at least don't seem like they're going to be beaten any time soon. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a privilege and honor to receive this uh, Asian Award. And of course, uh, standing with the other great achievers. Of course, uh, uh, when I started my career, I never thought that I will break many records or create many records. But uh, as a professional, obviously, it was my commitment to do well. And when I retired in 93, I looked back. There was 555 matches. There was uh, 10 British Open. And there was many, many tournaments around the world, for which, uh, of course, I would like to thank and dedicate this uh, award to my parents, my brother, who are not in this world, and of course, my family, my friends, uh, people from Pakistan, and of course, uh, all the well-wishers and fans from all over the world. I think with their support, with their prayers, which made me uh, to achieve all these uh, records. And uh, now I'm here standing with getting the Lifetime Achievement Awards. And uh, it's, to be honest, really a privilege and honor for me to be here with you all. And uh, I never thought that I'll be uh, still getting all the awards after retiring in 93, if it's like uh, almost 25 years ago. Uh, I would like to thank the judges who has nominated my name for this uh, prestigious award and of course acknowledging my services to the sports. And uh, just want to thank everyone. My best wishes, best wishes with everyone. Thank you.